In this presentation, we're going to see an example of assembly language programming, which is sorting. So we're going to look and understand the assembly language generated for a sorting program. We're going to see compare and jump instructions, and we will translate the program to assembly language from C using the same instruction which is generated by the compiler. So here I have a program which sort 10 numbers. So I have a global array of 10 numbers here which is not in the sorted order. So I hope you understand this program because it's a standard sorting program which we have seen before. It contains two nested for loops and a comparison here. Then the swapping of the variable happens here. Before you start you make sure you understand this program. So this program is all about sorting this 10 integers. So currently if you look at the array it is not in the sorted form. So 2, 1, 3, 6 like that. Now if I finish execution, so now the breakpoint is here, I can see that the numbers are sorted in the descending order. So now I'm going to restart the execution and I'm going to the disassembly of this program. So as you can see here this program is currently in release mode and also the optimization is turned off in the project properties C++ optimization disabled so this is disabled so make sure that these two settings are in place before you look into the assembly language so once that is done you can go to debug windows disassembly or you can press alt 8 so you should get something like this in the viewing options you have five checkboxes as our program is small we don't need this particular option so we don't need line numbers now coming to the assembly so I am skipping these three instructions because we have already discussed those instructions in another presentation. So let's try to examine the assembly instructions equivalent to this three statements int i equal to zero. It's very straightforward. Move d word ptr i comma zero. So this instruction will accomplish this statement. Similarly other two statements. So that is straightforward. Now we have a for loop starting here. Obviously the first statement i equal to 0 that is pretty much straightforward from here. Move d word ptr i equal to 0. So this is exactly same as this one. After that we have something called JMP which is an unconditional jump instruction. So that JMP or unconditional jump will make sure that the EIP is populated with this particular value after the execution of this jump instruction. So which means that the control will transfer to this particular location after the execution of this jump instruction. So let's see what is in this particular location. So 0 e 102 d This is right here. So what we have is a CMP instruction. So what a compare instruction does is compare two values and depends on the result edit the bits in the flag register. In most cases a compare instruction is followed by a jump instruction, a conditional jump instruction. In this case it is JGE or jump if greater or equal which means if this particular value is greater or equal to this particular value or the value in I jump to this particular location. So more or less 
these two instructions implement this statement. Let's see what is in this particular location 0 doubly 1093. zero doubly one zero nine three so that is the end of the program so which means that if this condition is getting true or if this particular jump happens we will end the program otherwise we will continue execution further so as you can see here there are three instructions here which we have not executed so far because we jumped from here to here and skipped these three instructions. So who is going to execute this instruction? We'll see that shortly. So as part of the sorting algorithm, we have another for loop which is coming up, which has very similar implementation. So if you see move jump, move add, move compare. JGE. So that is the exact same order here. But as you can see, the variables are different. Also, this jump location is different. So when we come out of this for loop, we have to jump to a different location. So which is this. So that is again a jump instruction to this particular location. 0 doubly 1024 0 doubly 1024 so this answers one of our question who was supposed to execute these three instructions so we are jumping to this instruction at a later point in time so that is where we restart the loop so what is in that three instructions so we are incrementing i so we are copying the value to eax adding one and copying it back to i so basically what is happening is we are incrementing the i after the execution of the for loop so now we are getting into the inside of the inner for loop which starts with an if statement so we can see three move instructions here so this is again straightforward these two instructions are straightforward we are copying the value of i to edx register and then we are copying the word ptr j all the value of j into eax so edx and eax contains value of i and j respectively after the execution of these two instructions so after that you can see two instructions one is a move instruction and another is a compare instruction so move ecx comma d word ptr array then this address and this offset so basically what this means is from this address which is the starting address of the array move this many bytes and copy the value inside that memory location to this particular register so nothing but this expression so this is the start address of array or the value of the variable array and this is the value of i which is copied here and multiplying it with 4 which is the size of an integer and that is how we are going to the ith element of the array so we are copying the ith element of the array to easy register similarly 
we are comparing UCX with the jth element of the array. So which means we are comparing the ith and jth element of the array in this particular statement. The compare instruction is followed by a jump instruction which is JLE in this case jump if less or equal which means do not jump if it is greater so if it is greater it will come here so again this is pretty straightforward temp equal to array of i we are copying i to edx then taking the ith element to ex exactly same as here then moving the ith element of the array to the temp here similar logic applies here as well so very similar nothing new only thing is that here there is a move instruction towards the ith element and again the reverse process here so if you understand uh, this particular part this is all similar instructions so after that we have the jump instructions these are the jump instructions which uh, restart the loops if the loop is not entered this is where it comes so what I recommend is try to debug this program and understand the flaw by yourself now what we're gonna do next is we gonna translate this program to assembly currently the program is in C so we're gonna replace this part of the program with assembly instruction so this program is the exact same program which is written in assembly language so in this program we have translated the C program into corresponding assembly language with the help of instructions we have seen before so the addresses has changed to labels more or less that is the only modification from the assembly we have got before so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna execute this program and uh, see the output although these instructions are not required we have just uh, translated it as such so currently the variables are not sorted and now the variables are sorted as before so in this case we have very less uh, logic in a C program um, so we have removed the C programming logical part and uh, replace it with assembly which we obtained from the compiler itself so the instructions are pretty similar as before so I'm not going to explain it again so these are the uh, different jump instructions you can see so these are the names and uh, these are the flags it checks so for example jump eball means carry flag equal to zero and zero flag equal to zero so if this condition is met it will jump into the location given after the instruction so that's it thank you very much